Mm, coffee's good. Good morning, guys. December 21st, Wednesday morning, uh, about 11 o'clock Central Time. Price action trading is the quick topic I want to make today. I, you know, I teach uh, fundamentals uh, to a, almost a, almost an advanced course within our school right now, and in there, pretty much uh, get you going from A to Z, from from setting up your charts, downloading and setting up your charts, into your uh, getting your simulation and chart trader platform ready. Of course. You can find a lot of this stuff on YouTube, but it's so much robust information out there. You're not going to be able to put it all together unless it's under one academy. And this is what we do here. We trade the futures markets and the commodities. Uh, but it, but price action trading is what I want to talk about today. We've already scooped, I think, one, two, I think it was five, eight. So we're at two points, eight ticks, 100 bucks for the day. Um, it's taken a little while because volume is really light through the rest of the year. Okay, volume is really light through the rest of the year. It's I got this on a 2,000 tick regular candlestick chart. What does that mean? Every 2,000 transactions, buy or sell, is going to pretty much uh, print on our chart. Okay, and then just like I teach you guys in the school, you know how to zoom in and out and expand this stuff. Okay, to your best um, desire, right? But basically, um, from the um, opening range today that we got, we broke very out a little very we broke down a very little and we started creating again when we get our swings we just create our general lines not everyone's line is going to look the same it's it's your own perception of the things right and not every line is going to always be perfect the market's not going to sit in a perfect channel because there's no such linear scientific rule to that happening right so but that's all kind of I wanted to talk about today it's been a while since I've made a video I'm really excited because I think I'm feeling like our team is growing um, we got now a uh, you know a couple people that are um, really happy to have on board and also um, our security and our site's been improving we've been having some um, downfalls on that since starting a few months back on building this and got attacked and had to learn about some tech stuff I learned a lot on that I took downtime from even my own trading time and work time so that I could improve on uh, on some of those things and just just because it saves on resources too but it's also knowledge you know running a business I have to sometime do that and it took a lot of time away to do that but back to our uh, real quick price action here I I have one contract up and I'm trying to go for it looks like a six point uh eight point eight tick. Not I mean let me not say points. Points is four ticks. Okay. I think I'm just gonna go for a four tick, which is a total of a one point scalp, just to kind of like end this session. It'll give me fifty bucks. If it gives me that right now, it looks like it might just stop me out at double that. Probably gonna take away everything I've earned for the day. But um uh, maybe respecting this new little tiny channel up here. Okay, this little channel. Could be going up to test this and stop us out. Well, the point is, is how this stuff works. Drag your lines, touch everything that you can the most. Use your best judgment, place your trade, go from there. That's it. So I'll try I'll probably try to come back. I'll pause this video and kind of show where this where this trend went. Um, it's about 25 minutes from a big oil inventory report, which does affect our overall market. It affects the U.S. dollar. So all the forex traders out there, and also affects our um, overall economy. And this is the S and P E mini futures that we're trading. So there will be a lot of um, emotion to that, a lot of volume coming in and out, being very choppy. Also, um, not good to be really in it. Um, I'm in this for demonstration reasons, but probably not a, the wisest choice right because things happen even like when the news is perfectly well it should go one way it goes the other and then corrects itself and stops people out and creates a mess that's what happened to me last Wednesday lost several hundred dollars uh, got a little stubborn on oil um, had I only even kept in longer I would have been just fine only like before market closed everything was right back to normal so that was a lesson I learned um, did I just not not be in certain news, you know, just stand back like I teach in the classes. Uh, let me cut the veto short, and I'll be right back after this pause. Thank you. Also, one more thing while we're waiting, guys. Uh, two notes. When you click on your, and you do move your your stops and your limits around, when you see it turn orange for that quick moment right there, when I pause it, it's pending. And then when it turns green or red, 
it's officially in that position now. Um, keep in mind, be mindful that when you move this around, you will be like, it's like you're getting out of the line of, of a store, right? And no one's going to hold it for you. Um, you can't ask anybody. It's just you, you're out of the line. That's it. So, you know, when there's a couple thousand people trying to fill an order at that price, you just bumped back behind that line. Sometimes that may be the factor of getting filled or not. Keep that. Be mindful of that. And also be mindful. Ah, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, with this thing right now, we're down three ticks. Uh, we're testing into this little channel here. It, now, oh, yes, I'm sorry. Why I went short on this is because we've tested and swung down into these channels more times than this little mini channel has formed. So, well, you know, we're kind of going back on an uptrend here, looks like. See? But I made this decision because we, uh, I don't want to trade against the trend. Right, you don't want to you don't want to counter trend trade when you find a trend and you find the swing low or the swing high and you connect and make your channels. It usually is stronger, stronger movement to one side more than the other. It takes less time. I think when volume kicks in, it comes in to your a little bit more towards your favor of that channel that swung into it a few times or even once. And this one, obviously, clearly for the day is that downtrend channel now with that said that's why I went down this way so looking looking to fill this hopefully soon and hopefully get out of it before any news hits and before the noon time that's it when we're not trading after noons if you're trading after noon you're an advanced person and or you are crazy that's all I gotta say
Okay, so I I just fast forwarded through all that process to show you on a low volume holidays and weeks and day how it can be really, really boring. It does take a long time and patience sometimes in this market, normally not. Uh, but we're in slow times, you know, big companies are, they're uh, balancing their books, they're ending up, they're ending their year, people are on trips, the big players are out already on vacations with the family and stuff, so it's going to be very light. Uh, it took us that long, you know, to clear that point, but don't forget guys, that one point, that one contract is a $500 margin. When you get more experience and you, and you know your price action, 10 contracts that one point would be equivalent to, you know, $500 a day. And of course, you can lose as much, but you got to just, you know, when, you're, when your winning side is greater than your losing side, even at 50%, if you, you know, uh, risk reward yourself, uh, you know, a 2 to 1 risk reward ratio, and if you lost, you know, 250 or 300 twice and made 500 twice, you're going to be profitable, right? So you're still going to have a profitable day, and it's just all about increasing your contracts uh, uh, based on your experience and how confident you feel of that trade, that trade setup, and you can make more money. I do this with small amounts because, one, I'm, I'm being rich. Number two, to show the smaller scale students that it's possible, you know, using margin it, with risk management, you can scale up a small account into something big and then just expand your contracts, you know? So that's about it, really. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Have a good day. Uh, email me. Call me if you need any uh, support questions or anything like that. Look, market looks like it's moving upwards. The channel's line here on this swing low line is being respected. We haven't hit too much here on the high side, but this is where we are. We're playing this little channel right now. Or... Or think like a big picture here, or uh, this area here is being a lot of resistance support. News already came out. I haven't checked what the oil news is. Uh, let's take a look real quick here, see what's going on in there in that world. I saw this huge sell-off earlier. Um, these are all the big sellers selling right before the news, right before inventory. So, and I don't know what the results are yet. I drew these two uh, lines showing... bottom support lines from the last two days prior two days ago so but it was like monday oh so, you know i haven't looked at the report again i'm not trading crude today uh, today we just uh played off the uh, s p e meeting again light volume but it is what it is guys all right then have a good day